welcome back to my channel it's your girl gabrielle marie continuing this cruise vlog vacation and next stop we are heading to south america as well as down to central america if you did not know i am on the third part of this cruise vlog series and the first video i did reviewing the ship adventure of the seas with royal caribbean as well as the boat days and i also reviewed labity haiti as well as falmouth jamaica so if you haven't seen those videos please be sure to check those out i will link both of them up above so you can go and check that out but this time we are heading like i said first to cartagena colombia what is up y'all i'm back at it again in the mirror mm. we are in cartagena colombia waiting to get off the boat i just got a little cute dress on right now with my michael kors sandals they don't really match but they comfortable and comfort is everything nowadays i got my hat hopefully it stays on my head because y'all my head is too big for this hat it just won't <laughs> yeah and my little bamboo bag with everything in there they made sure to let us know we gotta pack a mask for the port when if we want to go shopping and all that stuff um I don't think we're gonna go to the water today. We might look at the water, put our feet in the water, but I don't know about swimming, swimming. Yeah, just kind of sightsee today. We winging it, this is our first day that we winging it. Um, first and only. Yeah, first and only. We got everything else booked up for Costa Rica, Cologne, Panama, Hunters, and Cozumel, so yeah. And we did something in the other two places. So yeah, this is the only one that we're winging. Hopefully, we both know a little bit of Spanish to get us through if nobody really speaks English like that. I'm waiting. We about to go ahead and try to get off of this ship and see what Cartagena has to offer. So on this day, we decided we were not going to do an excursion and we were just going to wing it that day, which is normally what I do on a cruise vacation. But with my anxieties lately, I like to plan everything out and look up the culture and make sure everything is good as far as like certain things we probably can't do and vice versa, stuff like that. The reason why we decided to wing it is because what I really wanted to do is I wanted to tour the old city and new city. And they did have an excursion, but it was sold out. Now the excursion probably was like around $100 per person. It was in between like $100 and i'll say 130 per person so as soon as we get there we took a bus well y'all i don't know if y'all can hear us but we are on a bus right now and we don't know where we're going <laughs> hopefully we're going towards the city so we'll update y'all in a few well, it turns out the bus ride was like two minutes two so <laughs> We really gotta walk where we went, but right now we're about to get an idea of the city, look at the map, and see exactly where we're supposed to be going. I think we gotta take a boat to get there. So, we'll update y'all in a second. Once you get out where all the tour buses are and the excursion buses there were tour buses that actually weren't part of royal caribbean so we decided it was us and a few other people from our ship that decided okay well we'll go with him he said the price was 50 dollars per person mind you the excursion was like like i said 100 to 150 per person he did $50 per person and I feel like we did way more than what the excursion even said. I'm happy everything worked out with our decision. All right, y'all, so we kind of just hopped on the bus <laughs> and rolled all the way up to the top of Cartagena and we're looking at the panoramic views right now. At the new city and the wall city. Yeah, next we're going to the wall city, I believe. Yeah, but I believe, I believe that's what it's called. So far, so good. Boy, the traffic out here. <laughs> I got to tell y'all. I ain't seen one traffic light. And 
it's, 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 it's interesting. I'll say that. To my left, is a near the city, area called Boca Grande. On the right, and to my right, is the wall city. You can see the wall around the sea. This is the wall city. It was crazy beautiful. Like the view was amazing. Like it was very, very steep to get up there. So if you don't like heights, just sit, I guess, in the middle so you don't have to look out the window or whatever. So after that, we went down to see the fort, the Castillo San Felipe de Bajadas. I guess that's how you say it. They had a lot of people down there like selling their souvenirs and things, but it wasn't aggressive and it wasn't crazy or daunting especially with the person with anxiety i felt comfortable i was okay well i want to say be mindful of the ladies you'll see with yellow red and blue dresses with some with the fruit on their head and stuff when you take a picture they're gonna want a tip just to let you know we knew that ahead of time because i looked all that up and i was fine with that because it was just beautiful i was in colombia so why not oh and i must say the people of cartagena are beautiful inside and out everybody was so so nice the main beautiful part that i loved was so the person on our tour bus which i'm pretty sure everybody probably is like that i guess they have family members or friends that also work in tourism and they connect that way so he took us to places with the people that he knew so we could spend our money with the people he knew they supported each other and i loved that it wasn't forced or anything he was just basically like if you would like to this is such and such and whatever. He'll take care of you, he'll give you a good deal and stuff like that. I really enjoyed that about Cartagena. So much so, I actually bought a souvenir from a guy. He made paintings, y'all, right in front of you. I bought three and he painted it in front of me on glass. And it was 15 for all three of them. I was just blown away because they were beautiful and you can literally just see him using his fingers to paint. I wish I would have recorded it, but I didn't. He signed it at the bottom, but I can't really read the name. But I got a sunrise one. It's on a mirror, so it's probably gonna be hard to really see it. I'll keep it right here. Got a sunset. I have a nighttime. And like I said, he painted it right in front of us on glass. And he used his finger in, in five minutes he did all three of these so after that we went into the city square where they had like dancers and performers as well as the emerald museum they had a lot of information about how the emerald was basically from there that's what they're known for they had like a shop where you can actually shop for a real emerald baby way too expensive for me so we enjoyed just looking around looking at the history seeing all the emeralds and how beautiful they were but we didn't buy nothing after that we got back in the van and we toured both the new city and the walled city they said this area that we walk in right now they call it uh the miami beach of miami. Carti cartagena yeah so as you can tell from all the skyscrapers and buildings and everything it does look pretty similar enjoyed it but i really 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 enjoyed the walled city probably more because it was just beautiful all the paintings on the wall everything was just so vibrant colorful they had the instagrammable umbrella street when we went to get simony that's part of the walled city and they had like beautiful parrots just everywhere perched like I said, the people made it even better because they were so welcoming and everyone you talked to was so nice, so excited to see visitors. That was basically all that we did in Cartagena. So on to the next stop, we went to Cologne, Panama. We made it into Cologne, Panama is where we at today. All our research shows that it's supposed to be a dangerous city, but we gonna go explore it anyway. Today we gonna be taking, I think it's considered a bus tour. We're supposed to be going to the city, going to the mall, going to get something to eat, exploring all the areas that need exploring. And uh, we're going to try to show y'all as much as we can along the way. Welcome to the video. Welcome to Cayuna. <laughs> I'm so happy we decided not to wing that one because to be honest, we probably wouldn't have gotten off the ship if we didn't get an excursion. to go to Panama City when we got there 
it was different in a way that the land was very poverty stricken just in cologne that area so you see basically what i'm talking about it was to the point where i feel like the person who was on the tour bus she felt uncomfortable when the bus stopped when we were trying to head out of cologne and into the city which was like an hour i want to say like an hour an hour 15 minute drive when he stopped she was like uh what are you doing like why are you stopping here that kind of made us like mm, okay but it was so packed that day because they were also celebrating their independence day traffic was crazy and the streets were very very narrow and they had buku cars different buses passing so it took us a little minute to get out of that area in cologne so we went from that and then we went to more of i feel like a countryside where they had a lot of land and they had like small houses on top of the land and when we got to the city y'all it was a whole different thing i mean buildings that i have never seen before i didn't expect the mall to look like what it looked like either It's just crazy to see that they have the different sections in different areas of Panama. Because when we were in Cologne, I thought that's what it was just gonna be. But for us to have to actually get out of Cologne and all the way to Panama City, it's like, yeah, we definitely wouldn't have been off the boat. We would have been staying on the ship if we didn't have a shore excursion this time. So I'm so happy that we decided to get a shore excursion because <laughs> I wanted to actually get out i'm not one to sit on the ship and enjoy the ship like i'll enjoy that on our ship days but other than that i actually want to get out and see the culture just a little taste test so that you know when i go there fly there i'll know what to you know expect so that basically was cologne we didn't do much at all we just went to the mall i stayed there for way too long it was a long time i thought i was gonna be okay but it was a very long time it probably was like four or five hours in the mall next time we probably will try to do the locks see the panama canal and how all that so works. last but not least in this video we made it to costa rica puerto limon costa rica is a place that my hubby been wanting to go for a while we talk about it every now and then we up and about where we at babe puerto limon costa rica i was about to say where is it i ain't never heard of it <laughs> i had never heard of puerto limon so we made it on the bus <laughs> Last time y'all seen us, we was in the elevator, but we made it on the bus now. Um, we were supposed to be here at 8.15, but we didn't get the clearance until 8.30. But somehow, we the last ones on the bus still, anyways. But um, we about to go do this tour, see what we can do, find some kind of coffee, some chocolate. And we going to bring y'all along. See y'all in a bit. Basically, all the plants that we see mostly in the USA comes from this one form. And it's just a guy and his wife, y'all. And when I tell you they had all the plants and they the ones who kind of make hybrid of plants. And they sell it for like cents. But when they get to the US, of course, the US put that price up there to like $40, $50 for a plant. I was like, sir, can you just ship it to us? Please. <laughs> they showed the different plants that they have out there that we don't really have. If I squeeze it plenty, you know, I will get the shampoo. <laughs> when the rain comes and the water stays here, the drops falls here, and I squeeze it later, like this. 
Oh my God. Wow. I get the shampoo. I can wash my hair with this. And the smell is very strong. This one is called ginger. Ginger, I know the ginger cookies, right? Yeah. Ginger exists a big bunch of plants with the same name. This is a red ginger. What we take from this plant, which is in the same family, ginger is called Singiberaceae family. This uh, we get the, the flower, all right? We export this flower to you and their fruit was so fresh. They have star fruit, which I need that to come over here because it tastes so good. It's like a super sweet kiwi and kiwis are already sweet, but they have like the dry version too and it's so, so good. And they have like a secret pineapple that's supposed to be coming out. We saw the banana form. That was a cool process too because you actually can see that on the road and you see the little machinery that grabbed the banana and it was cool. And also, after that, we went to the coffee factory. And y'all, I was addicted to the cocoa beans. They had different types of cocoa beans. So it was like cocoa beans dipped in salted caramel. So you can buy it. But the one I bought, I loved it. But when you eat it a lot, it starts to taste real bitter. They had all different types of flavors. Of all right, so this is a roasted cocoa bean. He said the more we chew it, we're making chocolate. So. It's the caramel. Let's try it out. I don't know what flavor I got. Tastes like uh, M&M. Like M&M. Chocolate covered almond. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That was pretty much our trip to Cartagena, Colombia, Cologne, Panama as well as Puerto Limon, Costa Rica. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this one's probably gonna be a little shorter than the other ones, but that's because basically we didn't really plan this one out of what exactly we wanted to do. And the things that we wanted to do wasn't an actual activity. It was just us touring and being tourists. So hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to your girl. Next, we'll be going to our last stops, which were Roatan, Honduras, where we snorkeled for the first time. That was an experience. And we saw Barracuda. Stay tuned. And Cozumel, Mexico, where we swam with the Dolphinas. See you guys next time in our next video. Bye, and thanks for watching.